After he had dinner with my patriarch last night, Masumi Arakawa left Heian Tower alone. So he must have been shot on his way home. Any idea who did it? I put my money on an Omi loyalist. Pretty sure I'd win that man, too. Hell, there were shootings in Sotenbori, too. Attempts on Captain Watase and Daigo Dojima. Are they okay? Yeah. Apparently, they had some ex-Tojo legends with them. Can't ask for better bodyguards than that. No kidding. And yeah, that does point to Omi retaliation. Uh-huh. You and your pals should be careful, since you were on the Dissolution's front lines. The Remnants will have a bone to pick with you. Yeah, that's for sure. I'll pass on the advice. Can't believe this shit anymore. The Omi wiped off the face of the earth, all because of the stupid Arakawa family. Idiots blew up their own inheritance. Their betrayal cannot stand, Sawashiro san. Remember how we used to be sister families with the Tojo clan? We had bases in Kanto and everything. Of course, the only reason we helped Arakawa-san push the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho in the first damn place was so our family would survive too. Because we're sick and tired of the Tojo demanding tribute money just to let us keep land we'd already been living on for years. If that had kept up, we would have been crushed, just like any other family without their own territory in Tokyo. That's why we work with Arakawa in spite of it being disloyal to the Tojo. Exactly. And who's going to keep any of the promises Arakawa made? He promised once he was at the top of the Omi Alliance, he would promote us to the main family. Are we just supposed to accept that won't happen now? Listen, you whiners, quit your belly aching. I won't let the Omi Alliance die. We'll just give it a new name. My Kanto Senpai. I know we've caused a real shit show for you, but I promise we'll pay you back in full someday. And for now, all of us are asking your forgiveness. Well, just so you know, it's not like we're asking to cut ties to the Arakawa family. We'd like to keep things friendly, if that's possible. Of course! After all, it was Arakawa who was the brains behind the betrayal. And now that he's gone, I'd say the score is settled. If you need us, our door is wide open for you. Second patriarch of the Arakawa family. Thank you for your understanding. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you think the score's settled? You backwater scumbags don't deserve to be called Yakuza. Excuse me? You want to repeat that? Sawashiro, you fuck! I can get the Arakawa family back on its feet without you. Easily, in fact. All I have to do is unite the Omi already here in the East. You're way out of line! Arakawa fucked up! He 
His captain should be on his knees right now. Stop! What are you doing? You know, guys like you are all bark and no balls when it's wartime. That's the kind of Yakuza I can't fucking stand. Only a few years ago, you were sucking up to the Tojo clan. Then Arakawa changed his colors, and there you were at his feet. Now he's dead, and you think you can pull the senpai card on me? Talk is cheap. The Yakuza way to lead is with bloodshed. The weak always fall in line behind the strong. Help me! Time to accept it. Among the men in this room, you represent the weak, and that goes for all of you! I fully intend to start a new chapter for the Yakuza as the Tokyo Omi Alliance. I hope we can count on your support. Senpai. What makes you think you have any right to pull that shit? You haven't known me very long, but I think I've made a pretty strong case here for what I'm capable of. <laughs> Convince me. I'm not the type of Yakuza who's gonna sit on his hands after his patriarch got removed. What's your point? Right now, I don't know if it was you or some other Kansai punk, but I will gut the man who killed him. You have my word on that. There will be no mercy. The fuck are you saying? Every thug out there on the street knows that you killed your boss under Hauke's orders. You think picking a fight with me is your ticket to the big time? You see yourself as the guy on top at the dawn of a new age for the Yakuza. That ain't gonna fly. Sure. I'll give you until I've rounded up all the stragglers in Tokyo to make your move. Until then, keep sucking on the Omi's dried up teats. Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. <sighs> All right then. Let's go, yeller shit. That's your phone. This is Oshino. Chairman. You okay? Yeah, I guess. You don't sound okay. You eating well? Uh, no. Then start. A poor diet won't help with the grief. Meet me at Heian Tower. What for? That's the last place I saw Arakawa-san. I'll treat you to what he ate as his final meal. Uh, thanks, but right now I... Just be there. Fine. I'll be waiting.
Chairman Hoshino wants to meet? Yeah, at Heion Tower. Are you going? Yeah. Maybe he'll tell me about Arakawa-san's last moments. I want you to know, last night, Arakawa seemed at peace. Like an actor stepping off stage to thunderous applause. I think that's because he achieved his goals. He dissolved the Omi, and he got to see you again. He certainly looked like he was enjoying his Peking duck. I commented on it, actually. Can you believe this? He said he'd never had it before. What? He said he almost got to try it 50 years ago, but then... his father was killed. And he'd never gotten around to ordering it again. What? After we finished, I said I'd walk him to his hotel, but he refused the offer. Said he wanted time alone to just take in the night air. I didn't push it. I just bid him a good evening and left. But if I had pushed it... He'd probably be alive right now. I failed him. No, it's not your fault. Let me ask you something. Do you think it was only loyalists? Yes. No doubt in my mind. It was revenge for his role in dissolving the Omi. Men who saw fit to end someone's life over such a thing. How could Yakuza do that? Kill a captain like him? Kasuga. The Omi loyalists in Kanto are already attempting to form a new faction. They complained the loudest about the dissolution. I imagine one of them is the likely culprit. Forming a new faction? After killing Arakawa's son? Yes. Care to hazard a guess as to who is directing them? Because I think it's the one man who could actually bring them to heel. Ryo Aoki. No. The young master? Ordering the death of his own father? He wouldn't be the first to commit patricide for power. The one silver lining is, with Arakawa gone, there's very few men Aoki can give direct orders to.
Kasuga, you should take revenge for Arakawa. I can lend you men from the Seiryu clan. I don't need guns. You won't seek vengeance? No. Arakawa-san wouldn't want me to kill the young master. I'm sure of that. Then... what will you do? Before he died, Arakawa talked about how sad it was the Yakuza were getting used. Used like pawns by people in power. That's why he disbanded the Omi. I think you wanted the Yakuza to go back to their roots. Like how they ought to use their power to help the weak and vulnerable, not just take shit by force. That's how it was. That's how it could be again. Arakawa-san had a dream, and I can continue it. If all I do is kill one guy, especially if it's his son, all of Arakawa's sacrifices will be for nothing. If that's the only thing I do to honor him, I won't be able to face him in the afterlife. <sighs> what I really want to do is open the young master's eyes. Give him a wake-up call. Smack him upside the head if I have to. That's the best thing I could do. Kasuga. Arakawa was truly blessed to have you. Do what you think is right. I'm sorry if my idea of payback offended you in any way. I assure you it did not, Chairman. How do you plan on getting an audience with Aoki? You can't just walk into the Tokyo government office and ask to see the governor. <laughs> it's all good. I think I've got something figured out. You can pull a plan out of your ass just like that, huh? <laughs> Still, going anywhere near Aoki will mean tight security. Take some of my men. On the very least, they'll bring your body back. I appreciate the offer, really. But I'll be fine by myself. I've already got the best crew I could ask for. Jeez, you waited for me? How'd it go? Fine. Sorry to run off and get treated to a fancy meal without you guys. Well, looks like it put some pep back in you. Yeah, I figure if I keep moping around, Arakawa-san's gonna come down and kick my ass. But anyway... Is it Kume? Why? To make him arrange a meeting. I want to meet with Aoki. And Kume's got the hookup, seeing as he's Ogasa- Sure, but why do you... I'm going to get him to start thinking and doing things like Arakawa style. Uh, sounds like a long shot. What makes you- Oh, did I leave out the part where we rough him up? I mean, the guy deserves it. Hell yeah, he does. I'm in. Get out the bloodhounds and let's start this- No search required. Today- What's that? The deadline for every candidate to submit their paperwork. Man, dude. The fate of the Great Wall hangs on this election. Why would Do you know where Kume would be on- Well, each candidate will give their first speech in the Kume's district, Kanagawa's second, has a massive state- Let's head over to Isazaki Ro-
それではdid you? I doubt this was the only speech Kume's giving to you. His campaign stops and stuff. The more people, the better. But I can promise. Will he not talk to regular? No. But don't worry, he's gonna win. All y'all's been blacklisted as threats. You better get ready for the takeover. More Omi boys than I can count are rolling on over. The whole place will be swarmed. You fuckers! Aoki's always one <laughs> I realize there's no precedent for a governor to intervene in national politics. But there's never been a precedent any time we advanced as a society. What about your critics who say you're just too young? That national politics is no... <laughs> Are they implying local politics is some kind of... No, I don't think they're... How about we take another look at the survey results? 80% of respondents said they support Governor Aoki assuming the role of party chair. The principal reason for their support. Do you have any comments about- I couldn't have achieved the amazing results of the 3K plan without- That was how cooperation between law enforcement- What about the Yakuza still in Kamuroto after the- There are rumors that a delegation of Kansai Yakuza have filled the void. By Kansai Yakuza? Do you mean the Omi Alliance? Yes, that is confirmed. Doesn't it prove we can reduce Yakuza activity without a risky- It's not a risky policy. Not compared to the risks. I'm sure you've also heard that Masumi Arakawa, 
an officer who spearheaded the dissolution, was murdered. So you see, it may seem like this was a peaceful process, but as always, the underworld keeps hidden its dark. On the other hand, the Kamrucho 3K plan, my plan was the perfect example of a peaceful process. Accomplished. Speaking of which, the Citizens Liberal Party is endorsing as party chair. Wait. I want to rejuvenate the citizens. The Bleach Japan candidates are young and brimming with energy. By harnessing that energy, I know we can bleach all the gray zones. This bastard's using Arakawa's death. After all, but pulling the trigger himself. Just when I thought I couldn't hate politicians anymore, he gets. Guys, remember the mission. Kume's going to give another spot. Well, judging by how it went down here, sounds like you're in a tight spot. Chairman. So, you figured your best path. <laughs> Guilty as charged. But they're always one step. Anyway, I forgot to give you something. Huh? Think of what that be. Kazuna. Did you work? Oh! Finding a- Yes. Remember the whole- Yeah! Did you find someone? Well, I- But you didn't- But then, all of us- Yeah? Wait- Kasuga, you should run. What? I only wish I'd thought of it- or... Wait just a second. Back it up. I don't have a snowball's chance in hell of- True. I doubt you'd even get enough votes to qualify for the return of your registration. So why would you want to flush three million d- Well, the money doesn't- It doesn't mean- Three million yen is a deal if it gives us a chance to catch Kume. I'm not really fall- In every election, the candidates drive around in their trucks, give the district's not that big, so they frequently- When they do, it's customary for them to- It's a farce, of course, but it's custom. So if I run in the election- Compared to Kume, you'd be a nobody. What they call since Kume's victory is assured, that includes not turning you down for a handshake. He can't- If he did, everyone would say he acted like an arrogant- Bad press spreads quickly. You see how perfect it is? See, your original plan, but now the plan is just to use him as a step- in Uh, aren't you guys forgetting something? Ichiban did hard- It doesn't matter what's on your record. Once you've served- What do you say, Kasuga? Mm. I wish I could tell you to take your time and think it over. The deadline to announce your candidacy is to- Then, I'll do it! Seriously? Just because it's legal, doesn't- Then hurry to the election office and- It's the government, so naturally- Wait, what time is it? Holy shit, guys, we gotta hurry! Let's run! Where's the election office anyway? In the Nishihama building on- Thanks! Not gonna happen.
Give you that is a scare. Here we go. I got this. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Elections are the cornerstone of a just and fair democracy for all. Running for office as a publicity stunt is trampling all over that. And yet, Ichiban Katsuga, an ex-Yakuza who served 18 years in prison for murder, has, for his own personal gain, decided to take this sacred election with his candidate... Listen to that. Sounds like he got the jump on you. <sighs> it's strange that his campaign caught wind, but they're definitely trying to ensure you won't ever... How? The whole reason Kume would have been obliged was because you were going to be the brave, but now he's trying to paint you as a villain. Oh, I get it. Well then, you know what? <laughs> Seriously? A murderer? Running for office? Can you believe it? It's ridiculous. You heard it. He's a murderer. I gotta hand it to my opponent here. He's such a generous guy. He's basically advertising for me. A total unknown. Can't wait to check my campaign's followers after this. Thank you so much, Kume-san. This is exactly what I was talking about, folks. He's got nothing but sarcasm and one-liners. 
Why won't this ex-convict take our democracy? Ex-convict? You trying to say someone who broke the law can't run? That I've lost the right? Naturally! Well, it's true. I was in prison for 18 years. But the law says anyone can run, no matter what crimes they've committed. I'm standing here because my application was accepted. If you deny my right to run, then who's really disrespecting the law here? That'd be you, right, Mr. Law and Order? I, uh, never said... I never said anything oh, about the so law. so you're admitting the laws aren't always so perfect. <clears throat> well, in this case, it's strange, isn't it? Bleach Japan loves going around telling the rest of us to follow the law. But how do we follow laws that aren't just? Isn't that kind of apparent? Well, laws are what you need to... Are you asking all these fine people to just accept? In this case, we must! I see. Well, that sounds like a gray zone to me. <laughs> Kume-san, people don't want to break the law. They really don't. But just like the law ain't perfect, neither are humans. They both exist in gray zones. Part good, <laughs> I mean, just one little mistake can send you down a slippery slope. It happened to me. I made a mistake that led me to this city. Luckily, I was rescued from that mistake, but not by the law. I was rescued by the people who live in the gray zones. And man, they didn't ask for that life. They got the raw end of a deal. They were never given a real choice. They want to be proud, hard-working members of society, as much as anyone in this crowd. They know the law is important. I do too. But we also know... <coughs> people don't exist to serve the law. The law exists to serve the people. We ought to remember the words in that order. Don't you Kasuga think... Kasuga knows what he's talking about. He's got my bow. Yeah, I love... He's telling it like it is. Give him hell, Ichiban. Where do I donate to Team Kasuga? Screw that Kume guy. He's a... Hey, son, I think we can have a healthy debate in this campaign. Let's do this election fair and square. Why don't I come over there so we can shake on it? Retreat! Retreat! Wait, what's the problem? Kume-san, you were in the middle of your sp Wait, kume -san. In a strange turn, this impromptu debate has ended with Kume the front- The former Yakuza, ex-felon candidate, Ichiban Kasuga, has been generating buzz on social media. Useless! Kume, the staff, and even you are all useless! The only reason this happened is because you neglected to take it seriously. Enlighten me, Sawashiro. Why are you acting so strange? Got something to report? For now, we've decided to reorganize under a provisional name. The Tokyo Omi. We have sufficient manpower and resources, so I'll be assigning titles to... I'm sorry, are you under the impression you're the chairman or something? Huh? No. You had power in the Arakawa family. But I can assure you, it wasn't because you were competent. Kiss enough ass, anyone can get a promotion like you did. You haven't had a spine since the days when you were following me around like a lost dog. I've taken pity on you because we had a history. But enough is enough. The new Tokyo Omi Alliance needs a chairman who understands how to wield power. Well, that's what I am. Huh. A bold claim. I'll give you 24 hours to prove it by killing this man. What? If you fail, well, I assume you know the consequences. Yep. <laughs> What's up?
それでは Yep. <laughs> Listen. Hey. <laughs> Your support means everything. Thank you. Yo. <laughs> it's Kasuka, the other candidate. It keep on it. There might be another debate. Kasuka. No, I think Kume-san took enough damage yesterday. I actually came to make peace with him. <laughs> Why would we have? Hey, it's hard to talk in front of all these cameras, you know. Want to talk in private? That'll be way better. Let's just hop into your van here. Nice ride, by the way. Okay, okay, give him some space. Kasuga-san. Yeah? Chairman Hoshino's life is in danger. <gasps> the Komijul got an anonymous tip that the Seryu clan is... Chairman Hoshino is the target. And Song Hui said there's... The chairman? I think we need to put a hold on the Kume and Aoki. Yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> Something's going down. Captain Takabe! Kasuga... You shot! It was the Omi Alliance. About ten of them. One had a gun. They're looking for the Patriarch. They're going to kill him. His office is a ways up from here, right? Yes. Hurry. Please. Finally, you make your entrance. The Omi Alliance? Where's the chairman? Huh. Give the boys a sec. They're still cleaning up. What's that mean? 
Don't fuck with me, you assholes! Here we go. Take your you back shot. Who wants to go? Yeah, okay. Try this on the side. I love it. I'm up. Going in. You killed the chairman? You were late every damn time. Any job I sent you on, the smallest errand. Why, though? Why would you kill the chairman? This will be the end of the Eugene 3. He was a tired old man who served as the Grey Zone's pillar. And that pillar supported Ijincho. Without him, it'll crumble unless we intervene. The young master agrees. Why are you two like this? Why are you so paranoid? You've already won pretty much everything, and you still had to kill the chairman in cold blood? Why would Ryo Aoki need to do this when he's already on top of the world? What if I told you it was your fault? What? Hey, Ichiban. Ichiban! it is to the young master that he wins this district, but you got in his way. A felon like you suddenly decides to make a run for the seat. He doesn't like being defied. Especially not by the likes of you. Sounds to me like you're scared I could win. <laughs> Are you kidding? Not in a million years. Why else would you need to kill Chairman Hoshino? You know him. He doesn't even like to be inconvenienced. So how do you think he feels about this? Well, then why didn't you just kill me? Oh, I would have preferred that. But your campaign has drawn so much attention. I guess you could call it a timing issue if you need a reason. So you killed the chairman in my place? Yes. The e Gene 3 was the machine keeping you on life support. If pulling the trigger on you would make too big of a splash, we figured pulling the plug out of the wall would be the next best thing. Every time I think the young master couldn't sink any lower, he proves me wrong. What the fuck is his problem? What made him turn out to be such a bastard? I'm sure the both of us mean nothing to him. So why would he have to go so far just to crush garbage like me under his foot? What satisfaction do you two get from watching me break? Tell me what any of this is for! Is our 
Arakawa-san's death your fault too, you fucking coward! Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Doesn't really matter now, does it? Sawashiro! <laughs> something to worry about yeah but it was probably just luck <laughs> and you don't know captain sawashiro like i do uh so this for sure i mean he's a cap got it yeah you're gonna get you go who wants to go who do i call kind of move was a way more powerful one than I since when do you know Marshall since always the reason I fought with an umbrella and is the captain using this yeah actually watching him is damn how many well, I think we're about to find out take your best shot <laughs> 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 Yeah. Who do I call? I'm not 
To begin with. Man, this guy is savage. Yeah, he's pulling out all the stuff. <laughs> you think you can win? All right, let's do it. Cool. You're gonna get stopped. Right. You're in it now. Here we go. Oh yeah. Ah. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Let's go. Let's go. I'm over here. Check this out. Got some more. On it. You're in it now. Right. You think you can win? Are you done with all the fun and games yet? Try this on your side. Let's do this together! I'm ready now. Thanks, Thank you. Let's see. I'm up! Going in! Don't go fighting games yet. Come on now. I'm going to put the dust on you. Right. Ah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Over here. Let's go. Who wants to go? You want to go? I this got this. Damn it. Good luck next time. <laughs> nice. Shiro I knew would never just blindly follow orders. Not even the young masters. There's no excuse in the world that could justify killing Arakawa-san! Yes, there is. To me, the young master's orders are law. My life's purpose is to protect him. My life's purpose was to protect Arakawa-san! I know that. I know that all too well. Captain. And just so you know, I didn't kill Arakawa-san. Huh? I thought the young master ordered you to, because of me! He did order me to. What? But that was the only time I ever disobeyed one of his orders. I couldn't kill Masumi Arakawa. I can't explain it, but even as low as I've fallen, that was the one order I couldn't follow. How could I? Because you couldn't put aside your respect for Arakawa-san. Well, you think a Yakuza can't take out his own patriarch? No. That wasn't it. No? The real reason was... And I've never told this to anyone. Not even the young master. So why are you telling me? Just listen. The first time I saw Masumi Arakawa was only a short while before I swore my oath to him. 
I was 15. Just a dumb kid with no direction, no future. Back when I was getting into fights on the streets of Kamarocho, I had no money. All I had waiting for me at home was my drunk father's fists. The only people I could trust were the other guys who also had nothing. My girl was... <laughs> I can't even remember her name. Anyway, we shacked up and played house even though we didn't really think it would last. By the time she told me she was pregnant with our child, it was too late for an abortion. What are we gonna do? We can't raise a kid. There's no way in hell. All we could do was pray she'd have a miscarriage. We just ignored her growing stomach, going about life pretending it wasn't there. No hospital visits or anything like that. But of course, you can't ignore an actual baby. She ended up giving birth in a department store bathroom. All on her own. I was working at the time. Laying asphalt, as I recall. What now? Just pretend it didn't happen. Brush it under the rug. That's what you do with secrets. That's how we dealt with stuff our whole lives. Who was there to teach us any other way? No one. Which is why... We're going to hell, aren't we? I know it. Why are you saying that? Nothing happened, okay? It's chilly out. Let's go home. <laughs> no, I can't do this. I'm going back. Are you serious? It's over. Just forget about it. Stop! We took care of it! Let me go! Fuck! What? Damn it! Open you piece of shit! Open! That's the locker we... Does he know? Why else would he try to open it? Did he hear the baby in there? He had to, right? This... This is my child. Well... This might work out. Huh? Yeah. yeah. That guy will look after him. I don't understand. This is a gift. Right? It's for the best. Really. <laughs> hey. Are you okay? Huh? Damn it! Move! Move! So, Arakawa-san took your baby? That means... Shit! That baby was... Masato Arakawa. The young master. The young master? 
is your son? The boss told you about that night, didn't he? New Year's Eve. His woman was being chased by the Hikawa family. They decided to hand off the baby using a locker. <gasps> How could they have known that there would be another baby in the same row of lockers? What were the chances? So you see how it happened? Arakawa followed the sound of a baby's cries and pried open the locker. Five years later, the mother of my child was out of my life. But Masumi Arakawa... He was still in Kamarocho. With my son. I... Is that... Huh? That kid... I did some research on the man. Arakawa started his own Yakuza family at a pretty young age. So he was gaining some notoriety already. I found out a lot. Like how the kid in the chair had never been able to walk. Because of severe hyperthermia he'd suffered when he was born. Enough, Masato. Why me? Why am I the only one who can't walk? Everyone else can. It's not fair. I heard those words. And I swear they echoed in my head for months. Even if I'd never had a son, the Yakuza path was my fate. It always had been. I've been living my life half-assed for so long. Are you sure you want this? There's no turning back once you've sworn an oath. I'm sure. But suddenly I saw another way. I could swear an oath to Masumi Arakawa. Okay. Then drink. <laughs> Arakawa the Assassin was his nickname then. He didn't fuck around. I get it now. I get why you swore loyalty to Arakawa. It wasn't because he was the legendary Arakawa the Assassin. That's what drew everyone else to Arakawa. But you swore your oath to be near the young master. Does he know any of this? I told you, this is a secret I've never told anyone before. Honestly, I thought I would take it to my grave. Then why did you tell me? Because there's something I want to ask you. Me? Okay, shoot. Didn't you notice there's one crucial detail missing from that locker story? Crucial detail? Use your head. If Arakawa-san took my son out of the locker, then where is his real son? Uh, yeah, good point. The boss said his woman's name was Akane. And... Before he met her, she'd been working at a soap land called Shangri-La. Shangri-La? Seriously? That's where I was born. Yes. So take this next part with a grain of salt. But here's my theory. On that night, New Year's Eve, Akane called Arakawa-san to tell him she was being hunted. She knew they'd find her at the maternity ward, so she left. But as soon as she did, she went into labor. She desperately needed to find a place to have her baby, where she wouldn't be found. So I think she may have gone to her old workplace, Shangri-La. And, as you just said, that's where you were born. 
correct. But that... You're making it sound like I... It can't be. After the boss took the young master out of the locker, I saw another baby. You did? Move! Move! Long after all the fuss died down, she and I just stood there. We were shocked. Our doomed child had been saved. And now we had to just move on. I have to admit I felt relieved. But... I couldn't see why a Yakuza had been so desperate to save a baby. Sure, maybe he'd heard it crying. But why the desperation? And he didn't even call for help. It was such a fucking mystery, it gave me a headache. But a few minutes later, I got my answer. Boss, is it one of these? Yes, hurry! Open up every single one that isn't locked. Okay, I'm on it. What are they doing? I don't know. I hope to hell it wasn't this one. He's not here. Oh! Gotcha! Boss! Over here! I found him! You sure it's him? Wait, no. If he's still here... That can only mean the handoff didn't go as planned. Whoa. No way! There was another baby? What should we do? Take him to the police? No. I need to hold on to him for a while. In case Akane comes back for him. You think she's gonna make it? She said her life was in danger. It was at that moment I realized... The other man had taken the wrong baby. You took the wrong baby. <laughs> After putting you in the locker, Akane-san kept running. Right up until the Hikawa family caught her. I think that while she was on the run, she told someone she could trust about her baby in the locker. I didn't recognize the two people that came to pick up the other baby. But if one of them was Jiro Kasuga, your foster father, owner of that soap land, then you're Masumi Arakawa's son. Sh shut up, man. There's no way. But isn't there? A DNA test would be a simple way to find out. Without a test, you'll never know for sure. <gasps> or if you think I'm talking out of my ass, just walk away. Forget I told you. Hell no. You think I'm going to just let you walk away after you killed the Seiryu clan's chairman? And do what you will to me. I had no future then. I have no future now. Why not? Ryoaki told me to kill Arakawa, and I refused. He clearly already decided I was disposable when he gave me this hit. Take out a chairman? Aoki wasn't expecting me to come out of this alive. All I am to him now is a third-rate hitman. My success or failure hardly matters. But then... I need you to answer me, Captain. If you didn't kill Arakawa-san, who did? I don't know for sure. But maybe Lieutenant Nishioda. 
He's the young master's favorite peon now, since Arakawa-san is dead. Arakawa-san's death is on Ishioda, then. Sawashiro, I still can't let you walk away. As much as I'd like to kill you myself, you need to pay for your sins the legit way. Pay for my sins? The legit way? <laughs> That's not the way I've led my life. What's up? I found out who gave us the tip about Chairman Hoshino being in danger. It was Sawashiro himself. What the hell? Why would he give himself away? To venture a guess, I don't think Sawashiro actually wanted to kill the chairman. What? I believe he was hoping you would stop him, Kasuga-san. <sighs> but he couldn't say that outright, because it would have been betraying Aoki. So instead, he leaked his plan to kill Chairman Hoshino, and left his fate in your hands. But that means we failed. We didn't stop him. Shit. You always made such impossible demands of me, Captain. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> 